Yo, it's Jazz. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subby, what's up, sis? Today's Friday. Happy Friday. But I don't it's have to go to school anymore. Do we? Do we? Next week. She got to go to school next week. Yeah. Um, It is crazy outside. It was pajama day at work, so. I got pajamas on, and I just sent Addie to school pajamas on as well. Oh, well. Um, but it was a crazy day today. Lights were out. It smelled like gas in the school. All of that stuff. Only because the weather here is cray-cray. It is supposed to snow on Monday. Sunday morning leading into Monday. Um, so, it's going to be very cold this weekend. So, as of now, we are in the house I have a couple cakes that I got to get out. Well, actually one cake, a heart cake. I got to get out on Sunday. Um, so we're buckled in because it's too cold to go in right out right now. But I have to go to Hobby Lobby in the morning. Why do I feel like I got crumbs on me? I ate some chips. I got to go to Hobby Lobby in the morning so I can make sure that I get um, the stuff for the cake. Um, Alan, please get away. You are being annoying. Tell my daddy turn his Bluetooth off because uh, he gave me his Estes AirPods. Your daddy is asleep. You'll do that when he gets <gasps> up. Lord, I can't even do it. Anyway, uh, I'll be um, doing the drum roll, please. <laughs> Valentine's Day tree. This vlog. Are y'all excited? And we're going to decorate for Valentine's Day. We are going to decorate. I got y'all on this new light that I got from TikTok shop. <laughs> and the light is amazing because if I turn it off, let me see, it's gonna turn off. If I turn off, that is what y'all look like. But if I turn y'all on, and it's small, it's like it can fit in here. It's super small and it's clipped to my phone. So yeah, and that's all I gotta say. I gotta figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. I'm not cooking tonight. Absolutely not. Think of Chinese rice. Not really for sure though. But yeah, y'all. Um, I may get up and do this tree tonight, or I may just wait till tomorrow until we get light. It is the wind is going crazy outside. So I really don't want to get in that whole um creative thing and then the lights go out or anything like that. So I'm about to sit here and watch Chicago PD. Miss Girl. Ooh. Miss Girl. Gonna say cheese. And <laughs> she gonna sit beside me. So I'll see y'all. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. I'm up early. My face is so swollen. It's not swollen, it's just puffy. I ate pasta before I went to sleep last night and I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have it all. So like, I feel like my jaws, I might not look different to y'all, but my face is wider. It's, I feel like it's wider. It's, I got a big face, but I feel like it's wider. Anyway, it is 7.30 a.m. And I am up on a Saturday morning because I am trying to get the last minute things from the grocery store before this snowstorm comes on Sunday. It's supposed to be Sunday going into Monday and look, it's so cold out here that it rained yesterday and it is patches of ice in Walmart's parking lot. We don't know nothing about this weather. This is Mississippi, baby. This ain't Nebraska. This ain't Montana. This ain't Colorado. None of that stuff. We don't know anything about this. Um, it's supposed to be a negative four on Tuesday. Um, like, it's about to be cold. So we're about to go in, well you and I are about to go in and get what we're needed. The kids are at home with AJ. And we gotta go to Target to do and get Addie's other comforter. Cause I never got to do that. And Hobby Lobby to get things for the cake. So we're gonna do a quick run in and run out. I really wanted to put my tripod up and forge y'all. But guess what? I can't find my tripod. Yay. You guess who just fell in the front of closet, in the front parking lot of Walmart? Me and look at my hand. How did I do that? And that's why I have no faith in humanity. Nobody tried to help me. <clears throat> they seen me, but nobody tried to help. Me. Yeah, I'm so disappointed in myself that I failed. I'm so, I'm so disappointed in myself. 
I am hurting like real bad. I called AJ and told him that I fell. He's so disappointed in me. He was like, Jasmine, how did that happen? I'm like, bro, there was a hump. And my plat I got my platform Ugg boots on. So the hump and the, the platform just didn't go together. And I ended up on the ground. <laughs> anyway, got what I needed from the grocery store. Um, Ma'am, I just want to turn right here. Thank you. I don't want to turn right there. I don't have a part. So we're about to run into Target so that I can return Adeline's comforter. And get her a smaller size comforter. So yeah, let's get in here. I have been seeing these resurface, so I think I'm gonna get these and put like my Valentine's Day like sweets and stuff in it because when I make all that stuff, it kind of goes to waste. And these are two for five. They have a big one here, but I don't think I need that big one. So I'm gonna just do the small ones. So Natasha came in here yesterday and she told me Target had some throw pillows that would go with Addie's theme. She said it was by the Studio McGee stuff. I thought that was Studio McGee over here. Wait a minute, I think. I think this is Studio. I would never, y'all, I'm never understanding why it's freaking beach stuff out already. This is Pillow. I mean, this is Casaluna. So where's Studio McGee? What in the world? Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Let me see. Let's see, hold on. <clears throat> this is Threshold, Opal House. It's supposed to be somewhere in this area, right? Oh, they have blue sheets. I didn't know they even had that. Y'all, I got a blue comfort. We're not doing that. We're not doing that, Justin. But, yeah, they got a blue comforter. And no glove at the blue sheets either. Okay, we're not doing that though. But where the hell would the... And I don't want to be a pain and ask nobody this. I want to find it on my own. I got threshold stuff for 25% off. Let's see. Let me go find it. All right, with help from a good worker, we found the pillow. Yep, these are cute. I wonder how much they are. Let me see. They're $20. So, she has some throw pillow cases that's coming today. They're actually, actually just out for delivery. We're going to see what those are talking about. If not, we may just send those back because those were 20 I think. But it was 2 and I got the pillows already to cover it. Um, So, we're going to see what they send me and how I like that. But this is what I'm looking at. This blue throw would be cute for her room. Just throw up her bed. How much is it? <sighs> so, and look, it goes good. <clears throat> I wish it was solid or checkered, but it goes good though. So, for right now, let's try this and see how this goes. If not, we're coming on back to get them bad boys. Oh, I wish that she was like. No, to don't touch that. That blue is some kind of good. That blue is beautiful. And it would be so cute to sit it on her little desk. That blue is real good. Y'all, Target really got some good stuff coming in for the spring. Like, y'all know I'm obsessed with trees. I have this one at home already. And I got mine for a steal. How much is this one? <laughs> 150. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember, but one day. I went into Target, in the old Target, um, and it was right before we moved into our house, and they had one, and it was cracked at the bottom, and it had like a little, I don't know if this is called a fiddle or not, but one of the little leaves were like broke off. Girl, I didn't care about that. Took it to customer service. I was like, so what can y'all do about this? It was already on clearance for 75 She was like, can I give it to you for 50% off? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I paid $35 for the tree, sure to you, and turned it around, and y'all know it's in the freaking living room where well, the formal dining area but target really said don't play with her though this mm, this is pretty i would put that in my bathroom like the kids bathroom slash the guest bathroom how much is that 
70. Oh, you look pricey. They ain't one over there for cheaper. But, mm-hmm. Oh, this table is pretty too. It's too, now that ain't bad at all for this one. Well, I kind of got the baskets in there. My dream is to get another table. Not right now, but yeah. Uh-huh. These are pretty. These are just plastic. They look real, though. Funny guy. Yeah, that's plastic. Where's that metal? That's metal, sorry. Not plastic. They are. Yeah, all the cute stuff. I guess this would be considered spring. I think so, though, because, like, the pillows and stuff, they are very, like, lights and airy colored pillows. The little links are pretty. It's like leather. This little sculpture thing, if you're into stuff like that. What's this? A lidded box, what, probably, like, for a jewelry or something? Oh, yeah, they have some good stuff. That pot right there is pretty, too. I love these baskets. These new candles? Girl, and y'all already know Pampers. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. How much are they? $30. But this is... Mm, yes, ma'am. That is a beautiful candle, y'all. Beautiful. That's a beautiful splurge item. So, I was curious to know the tag behind there went up 30 cent why and look at this i want y'all to see this tag now it's 4.29 and it used to be 3.99 man that's sad do y'all remember me talking about this picture the other day it is 40 percent off 50 dollars i want this for addie's room i want it i want it bad Okay, we're running through Hobby Lobby. We got fabric. What do y'all think is about to happen? We got fabric. We got fabric. I'm getting ready to walk out of Hobby Lobby and y'all cannot tell me this is not cute. This goes without curtains and I need this real bad. This is so cute. And the pampas can go on the side of this. Now the LED light that I have, it can be sent back. But this picture above our bed, I have to have it. Okay, folks, I'm home. Let's go over what I got from Walmart today. Everything I'm telling y'all I got from Walmart today cost me $89. $100. Thank God I can afford it. This is crazy. $89. This is sad. This is sad. And it's not a lot, so don't get hyped. <laughs> I got some Hot Pockets. It's only five in there. I got two of the White Castle sliders, my kids. And AJ love these. It is six in each box. <clears throat> I got some Tennessee Pride sausage. That was $10.17. I remember when these were like six something a box. $6.84 if I'm not mistaken, a box. I got some Valentine's Day marshmallows. Can you see marshmallows? Focus, marshmallows for Valentine's Day. I got some regular marshmallows. I got two boxes of strawberry cake mix. I got a, I got a 18 count. They saying it yesterday, remember? Yeah. I got an 18 count egg. I gotta put um, beads on her hair too. I got some whipped cream for the um, hot chocolate. I got a box of Duncan Hahn brownie mix because me and Addie have to make some stuff for that. I got some Rotel, original one Rotel can. Then I got one queso, queso blanca, Velveeta. I got a stick of unsalted butter because I have to make icing. I got caramel to go on top of the brownies. And last but not least, I have two. Okay, I have two thing of bold nacho cheese um, taco shell because I seen like a recipe for tacos where they like did the meat and all that kind of stuff, but they put the queso blanca on top with the rotel and they just creamed it over and they didn't put any cheese or anything else on it and I want to make those. Uh, so yeah, $89 is for... Where are they going? 
They're going through the neighborhood. Oh, it's a lot. It's the police. It's fire department. It's ambulance. Yeah, look at them. Oh my, and they flying through here. I hope everybody okay. That scared me. It sounds like it was right outside the door. Um, oh, that did scare me really bad. Yeah, I hope everybody okay. It must be that street right there. I'm, I got my back door open, so I'm looking at the back door. From Target, <clears throat> I got Bluebell ice cream, and I showed y'all this ice cream was basically $10, $8.99. Um, oh, Alan, you're missing my clear containers. It should be. No, not the teacups, but the clear containers. And I got Miss Addy Girl's blanket. So we're about to go put that on her bed. Um, and her pillow set. I told y'all they said they were out for delivery. So we're going to go ahead and get those fits So Let's go see how the fits on her bed. Okay, y'all. So this is the comforter. And I like this way, way better than what hers looked like at first. Um, when the pillows get here, it's going to definitely bring everything in. But y'all know that smiley face picture? Gotta have it here. Because I'm going to do a little collage. So that'll be the focal point to be here. And then I can place things around it. Really love how that came out. I like, I really love it. So yeah. Addie's room will be complete once the pillows come in. And I buy that pink. But we'll do that over time. We're not in a rush for that. Now let's talk about Alan's room. Okay, he got a lot of dirty clothes. It's Saturday, we're gonna get clean. And he he's dusty everywhere. This is going out today, has to go. We don't want that no more. Lamp is gonna go there. We're gonna set his trophies up over there. And we're gonna go through them drawers. It's a lot of mess and a lot of mess here. Y'all see his Christmas tree. So these are gonna come down. I designed some things on Canva that we're gonna use. That bean bag is going in the trash. Like I said, that's going. The sheets and stuff is good. Eventually, I want to paint this brown nightstand black and his brown dresser black as well. Um, he is getting a name sign just like Addie, so he'll have Alan on his wall. That's coming down. He wants LED lights all the way around. So that's what he's getting. Now, these pictures that I got about, it was like before Christmas. Got that. And I got that. I'm going to put those and make a collage on his wall here. He's a boy. He ain't got to have all that stuff. And I'm going to get him that game stick pillow and two. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get him a checker throw. It's like a black and white checker throw. I seen it at Hobby Lobby. It's not on sale this week. <coughs> they playing, y'all. They're loud. And it is a smiley face pillow that I want to get for his bed. And I want to get him... Um, a a couple red throw pillows. Look at that. Look, he leaving now. The, all the the police and stuff. So hopefully somebody, whoever it is, is okay. Um. So yeah, I have a plan for his room. It's not in a rush to get it done. I said maybe the end of next month, um, leading up to spring break. But he's content for now. But the tree gotta go. <laughs> so ritual Saturday, we turn on music and we clean it. So when I'm done straightening up around here. We are about to, we clean on Saturdays, not on Sundays. Sundays, we gonna rest. So yeah, about to do that and we finna clean up. So y'all know I'm not the girl to sit my phone down and y'all watch me clean because I just don't feel realistic doing that. Maybe at some point I'll feel better about doing it, but I just don't feel good about sitting my phone down, cleaning up because I can't deeply clean how I want to clean if I'm trying to worry about the camera, okay? so. I'll see y'all. Yeah, my sweet husband found my tripod. I was like, I'm in desperate need of my tripod and I cannot find it. He was like, you had it recently. I said, I did find it and he found it. So y'all on tripod again. I'm about to sit y'all down too. I am in the process of making a cake and I'm gonna just show y'all. But it looks like I'm making content over there too. Y'all see my brown, well, those are cookies. Brookies brownie cookies. Okay, y'all. I just wash my hands and I put the light on my phone. Alan is playing at Oculus and it's starting to bother me. But anyway, I'm about to use my 6B tip and we are about to start icing. I like to start from the back to try to define that crease in that heart. And I'm just pushing 
Do y'all hear that? Alan, strike one. Because I told him if he keeps doing it, he's coming down. So I just push in and pull. So push in, pull, push in, pull. I'm just doing it faster. So once again, come back around and define that heart. So I'm gonna push it down like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the border. And this is just a one color cake because I am uh, doing an $80 heart cake special for Valentine's Day, but this girl was like, my birthday tomorrow. It ain't Valentine's Day. Can I get it? You sure can, Miss Ma'am. And this is a strawberry, well, double strawberry cake. This is a strawberry cake in the inside, and the icing is also strawberry. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And her outfit is gonna match. So, I'm about to let this settle, and I'm going upstairs to get uh, my Cricut machine and I'm going to put um, 22 very thick and um, in red glitter paper. So yeah, y'all, that's what it came out to look like. And I think it is beautiful. I think it is so beautiful. So I'm gonna let it sit here and cool. Okay, off. girly pops, I am back. I am better. My house smells amazing. And if my house smells good, I wanna smell good too. So that means this portion of today's video is sponsored by Dossier. If you don't know who Dossier is, y'all, you are hiding under a rock, okay? So Dossier gives iconic scents, designer quality with no markups. And this scent I'm gonna show y'all right now, Run to the website. I'm gonna have a link down below in the description box. Run to the website. And Barry Saffron, y'all. She is a moment. The first bottle I got of this, I had people running up to me. What do you have on? You smell so good. It's not too strong. It's just right. Oh, you smell so good. And it's lingering as you walk away. I know. <laughs> and Barry Saffron, y'all, is the one. She is that girl, okay? So, Amberry Saffron is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540. You know about Baccarat? Then you know this smell is, <laughs> the smell is bomb, okay? I got this because it isn't too strong and I have bad sinus issues. And with my sinus issues, I can't wear a lot. But it's something about Dossier perfume. Like, I can wear it. I've had like seven of them. Each one of them did me so great. They, they like stayed on my clothes all day long and I did not have a headache. So let's talk about the notes in this one. The top notes are saffron, orange, blossom. The middle notes are jasmine, plum and cedarwood. Base notes are oak moss, fir, balsam, and amber. This smells so good and I'm about to put some on now because yeah, I want to smell, ooh, mm. ooh. They also sent That's me it. over one citrus green apple, and this is inspired by Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue is that girl. I have the real thing in here, and I have this. I cannot tell you which one is stronger or which one is softer. They are identical. Why go and buy the high dollar one when you can just shop at Dossier and get the same quality, but just less the cost? So, if you haven't already visited Dossier, y'all, make sure that you click the link down in the description box. And thank you again, Dossier, for sponsoring today's video. All right, we are about to get into one of our favorites. I have been seeing these viral bows. Like, they're large, and they're going on Christmas trees and other things as well. We're about to make one because I'm doing my Valentine's Day tree. So, this is what they say do. You are supposed to have two yards of fabric. That's what this is. And you are supposed to lay the, I'm gonna lay y'all down. And you are supposed to lay the shiny side down. Now, you are going to need to cut this into two pieces. So, that's what I'm going to do. Mind y'all, I haven't done this before, so we're gonna see how this works. So, you pull it out, make sure it's stretched out, and you are going to cut 
trying to see if I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. Because when you fold and you fold. Okay, so I have yeah. to cut yeah. a piece of this fabric. Yeah. What, baby? Um, Who? Oh no, people ain't coming up here, girl. I'm just making some. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this one. I think it'll be easier. We have an extra piece, which is here. And also, you are going to need a paper sack or a cardboard box to make the shape of a bow. So I have a cardboard box that I'm about to go get out of the car and I'll put it down and come back and show y'all. Okay, y'all, uh, I cut a piece of box from something and I'm afraid to say, oh God, I'm afraid to say where it came from. When I turn it around, y'all probably gonna know. What, what's wrong, Addie? Yeah, that was y'all play box. Uh, the elves may bring another one back next year, okay? So yeah, I just got this cardboard. Now I'm about to draw a bow, cut it out once that's done. What? Okay, once it's done, I'll come back and show y'all. Okay, y'all, bow is made. Do y'all see that? Yeah. So what's going to? It just colors on it. It is. I so make that. I make that. <laughs> we're gonna sit that down. And color on the back. Okay. And we're gonna fold. Fold. It up halfway. Shiny side is supposed to be up. Remember. This one. Yeah, you can fold it back. Fold it back. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Good like job. Just like that. Okay. So next, you're gonna need some. I want y'all to see good. Let me push y'all down. Next, y'all gonna need some hot glue. You don't need fabric glue. Got fabric glue. Good for you, but we're going to use hot glue. I'm gonna get glue. the hot glue. Hot glue, it's already out. You can unplug it, okay? okay? It's right there. So, we're going to hot glue this part down. Once we're done, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so we have this pin down. And don't worry, this is the back of your bow. So yeah, we're not gonna see that anyway. Um, now we are about to take all the bags and we're going to stuff them on each side, okay? So. Oh, okay. <laughs> stuff, AJ was loud. We know what was going on. So we're going to stuff this underneath that cardboard, okay? Y'all see the cardboard? Underneath the cardboard on this side and underneath the cardboard on that side. Okay, y'all. I can't record over there all the way because Alan don't have no clothes on. But So we stuffed it. And do y'all see that? It's, it kind of has like its height off the ground. So now we're going to take this and fold it over on that side. But we're going to do it neatly, of course. And then push that one over, Alan. I'm not going to record you, baby. Yeah, push, throw it over. Just throw it over. Throw it over. And throw that piece, and we're going to hot glue that down, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So this is what it looks like now. It looks like a big pillow, honestly. But now we're going to take some twine. I'm sorry, I'm watching Chicago PD. We're going to take some twine, and we're going to put it underneath here, and we're going to tie it in the middle. All right, so big bow. Y'all see that, right? Very big bow. And the cardboard helps it hold its... Um, its texture so y'all know the other lap we're gonna put that across that like that i think let me make sure okay so y'all know that strip of fabric we're gonna cut a little piece off of here in order for it to go in the front of the bow like so so we're gonna cut about i'm not measuring anything i'm just kind of going off a whim so we're gonna about that much whatever that is <laughs> she said it feels like a pillow Put it in my room. Oh no, this is for the tree for Valentine's Day. Okay, y'all see that? We got a big bow. Stand up with it. We got a big bow. <laughs> I got a big bow. <laughs> okay, now this other piece, we're gonna just say this is the middle. Tie a piece of string to this, and then we're going to tie it to the back of that. Okay, now I'm about to take this floral wire. And we're about to put that at the back. And we're going to put her up here. And I'm going to go ahead and stick some more ornaments on and tie some bows. But I'm going to do that and come back and show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so tree update. We put the bow on and I'm sad because I didn't leave enough feet 
I know that's not the word for it, but it's not enough feet. Um, but this is what we did so far, y'all. I did not get a chance to go to Dollar Tree. Um, but this is what we have. I'm going to put more of these on there. But for now, I think it'll do. Also, I put up our um, garlands here. This says Be Mine. Then we got the cherry one because that's my thing for this year. That's why I, I was trying to find a cherry pillow and all that stuff. Um, and that's, that's what we got so far. We're starting to work on that. Have not completed, but for now... This is what our tree looks like, and I'm excited to finish the rest. Can y'all see it snowing? I really wish y'all could see. And AJ truck isn't cranking. Y'all know diesel trucks, when it gets this cold, they start acting crazy. So now his truck ain't cranking. Mm, 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 mm. He thoughts about this game. But if this game gonna have everybody on edge. We are finally leaving. It's, it's right. We are finally leaving and it's snowing hard. It's snowing so hard.